This is what this is literally what we have left right here. Bristol City, Man City, Arsenal, Man City, Man United, Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth. We play three of the top seven teams. Uh, Bournemouth being one of the top seven teams in the run-in. Obviously, Arsenal and United are sandwiched around our Manchester City matches. So that's going to be difficult. Right, that's going to be complex. That's going to be troubling. That's going to be a battle. This coupling of four matches right here, Manchester City, Arsenal, Manchester City, Man United. Yeah, I didn't realize that this actually might be the last stream of this of this save if we if we if we get it right. So yeah, we are getting right into it today. I mean, we've got Bristol City away to start the stream. I feel like that's really going to set the tempo. It is the worst team in the league, although it is away. Uh, we do want to make sure that we rotate really, really intensely. We want to make sure we rotate really intensely. So Gongstead, Coyote, Rosales, Benel, Hajaj, Doig. Uh, Javi, Guerra, Enrique, Conda, Canelio, McIntosh, Kaya. It's a good team. We're putting a good team on the field. I'm not, you know, the international duty, uh, us putting a recovery there really helped us get our guys back from international duty and have them okay. Oh, Connor Bradley's here. He's not that good. I guess he just doesn't, uh, football manager's not loving the Connor Bradley show yet. Top of the league against bottom of the league with seven matches left to play. There will be a new league champion. Arsenal have won it five straight years. They will not be winning it this season. Will it be the end to Tottenham's nightmare? Come on. Dude. Dude. This is the third straight red card of the season for Michael Coyote. Third one. What a time to do it, man. What a time to do it. All right, I'm going to get Marcelo Enrique off. We're going to bring in Rico Lewis, the captain, for a little leadership here. That's my ball. Dude, you got to be on that. Thank you, Rico. Canelio. Kazukanda. What are we looking at? Kazukanda. <sighs> Great hustle, though. Way to keep possession. All right, Rico. Rico's going to go. Oh, my goodness. Rico. Takaya! Oh! Oh, Ben L, what are you doing? Oof, deflection, all right. Bit of a siege going on. Oh, that was the wrong shout. I'm not going to change our shape because we need to try and keep them in their half of the field if we can. Oh, my goodness. Blow the whistle! We're three and a half minutes past time! What the hell? Dude! Look, all that matters. That was ugly. That was uncomfortable. Michael Coyote with a very early red card. We overcome it. We get the 1 0 win. That is literally all that matters. One big play by Rico Lewis to tee up Mujahid Kaya. Give us the three points. City just drew Chelsea, so I believe 6 15. Now they're still technically alive, but that one hurts for them. I will say, while we get to this next match, I was emailed something. I was sent something. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, um, I think it's called Suno, S-U-N-O. It is like an AI, basically, that creates songs. And somebody got in touch with me today, and they had gone on to, uh, they'd gone on to Suno, and they created a Lones song. They emailed it to me, and it is a banger. Ball 
This one, this part's actually me. This isn't the AI. The Football manager. Yeah, so that's a banger. Champions League quarterfinal. Here we go. Welcome to the Etihad Stadium for a Champions League night. A Champions League night between the league leading Tottenham Hotspur and third place Manchester City. City, the great team of an age, five years removed from their incredible championship runs. Tottenham looking for a first ever top European crown. So cruelly robbed in the semi final last season. Erling Haaland and Phil Foden looking for one more last act. Okay. Not really working Pellermino second with the ball much at all on our little passing map up here. Average position is great. The game is taking place mostly in their half of the field, which is that's a win against Manchester City. That's a win. They're coached by Didier Deschamps, by the way, the former France manager. Pep left pretty quickly, but then they had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, what a play by Rico Lewis. Oh, what a play by Rico. Another game, another massive play from Rico Lewis, and it's a corner. Oh, okay. I changed the zoom now. Zoom is the same. Nice. Seca was cleared for 45 minutes in this game. He has now come out with a completely different injury 40 minutes in. Regimit, you're ended. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is actually do a little switcheroony. So I'm going to have you as an advanced playmaker on attack and Pavlak dropping off. All right, we're going to have to do this without Seca. That's just clear. He's helped get us this far. We have to do the rest without him. Hato McIntosh, let's go! Let's freaking go! All right, that's a big one. That's a big one. Happy with the performance so far. Oh, uh, don't like the lack of defense that we just played there. <sighs> Kongstead just stays big. Big play, McIntosh. That's bad, but you already have a goal, so how mad can I be? Sharp with the passing. Sharp with the passing. Sharp. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, my goodness, Hato. What an unbelievably bad pass for no reason at all. That's fine. As long as it forced him to shoot there on that foot. Not too worried about that. I'm worried about the turnover there from Hato. That was, uh, was a bit bad. I mean, might be check the mental there. He looks fine. No nerves going around. And Oh, yeah! Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Near post. It's just kidding. Far post. Oh. Petrovic missed it. Let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yes. Hato. That's it. We gutted that out. A couple of scrappy goals. Some excellent defending. Two big moments in goal from Gongstead. We lost Bellarmino Seca, but we picked up a 2-0 win. Oh, 90th minute, 1-1. That sucks. Because that's who we play in the semifinal. Celtics on a miracle run. If they actually get to the semifinal and that's who we play, that'd be incredible. All right, we're not going to do injections. We will uh, let him recover. It's a groin strain, which just sucks. All right, we do have to... I've been just basically ignoring this game for a while. The fact that we're going to have to play Arsenal at home and it's going to be like basically a fully rotated team uh, is something that I've really been pretending is not going to happen, but it is absolutely going to happen. The injuries and the suspensions have really robbed us of our quality, like um, our quality depth. 
If we win this game, we are destined to win the league. That's that's my two cents. Okay, we've got Gongstead, Rico, Rosales, Hato, Vandevin, Guerra, Enrique, Conda, Canelio, McIntosh, Tal. It isn't the best possible team we can put out there, but it is a very, very good team. And it's one that better be able to take care of business today. That is all I'll say. Because if we do take care of business and we do win this match, it's going to be very, you know, if we, if we pick up this win, it's going to be very hard for anybody to catch us in the league. There's still a long way to go. There's the match against Manchester United that could spice things up down the stretch, but this is the second biggest hurdle left. A North London derby at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. A 71-year English title drought on the verge of being vanquished by the long, intrepid Tottenham Hotspur. It's been a special season for them. And they've got one eye on the Champions League at the moment. They played just three days ago at the Etihad, produced a magnificent 2-0 win. And it's been Arsenal, who have won five consecutive Premier League titles. They came from behind in the final few matches of the season to get beyond Tottenham Hotspur. It's Kieran Tall. Oh, save, Conda! Is Mark injured? No, he's not playing today. Ouch! Oh, great hustle here by Marcelo Enrique. Forces the bad ball. Mexican international Francisco Rosales is there. Conda. Oh, to Kieran Tall! Offside, dude. I thought he was on. I thought he was on. Oh, he's so far off. Am I blind? Oh, I'm wearing the rose colored glasses right now, dude. He was so far off. Am I okay? What? Okay, we're back. Nil nil. We're fine. Canelio, been the better team so far. McIntosh, Belshior. McIntosh again. McIntosh! Oh, it's Paul McIntosh! With a second goal in his many matches in the emergence of a 21-year-old star. It's Paulie Mac himself. The left wing last season, the butt of many jokes at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This season, he is the savior. Oh, my goodness. All right. Does current transfer budget carry over to next season? No, yes, it does. It does. Your, your, your transfer budget is set, like your balance stays consistent through the seasons. Your transfer budget is what your board believes you should be able to spend based off of your balance. So it might change a little bit, but very likely it won't change at all. If your club is doing well financially and you've made the club money through player sales and you've got a high transfer budget, you'll have a high transfer budget next season. It's not going to go away. Football manager's great like that. Polly Mack. Surely not! Polly McIntosh! It's a title charge. Say no more for Paul McIntosh from role player to the player and uh he was not great last season we uh, lamented paul mcintosh for just dropping consistently terrible ratings but he's still only 21 we held the faith that his uh his direct style was going to fit into what we wanted to do and it's pan off i have no idea how that ball just went in Yo. I forgot Rico was on a yellow. Oh my goodness, Conda! Oh, great layoff to Guerra. Smack in the post. 23 minutes left. Six matches left in the season. We're top of the league. North London Derby. One goal game. We have Champions League in three days. And Rico Lewis is just running away from the ball. Rico, you better be great the rest of this game because I don't know what the hell that was. And I, oh my goodness, yes! Conda! 
Wow, that sucks. Yeah, good idea, dude. Just uh, do that. Oh, you know what? Make this a highlight, dang it. Let's go win the game. Doig, Pavlak. Oh. Well, that was obviously painful because uh, we were the better team in that game and both of their goals were really, really frustrating goals to give up. We won. If we were able to complete the win in that match, we were going to be at really serious arm's length, and I was going to be feeling great about it. Loving the improvement we're getting from Casper Gongstead. Stunned he gave up that goal to Evan Ferguson. He's such a good shot-stopping goalkeeper. <sighs> oh, my God! Swedish? We just went under an embargo in the middle of a title race. Not that it matters, but Daniel, what, can we not save this until right after the season? Swedish investor Johannes Wiklund is said to invest $925 million in, in new players. This is the third tycoon takeover we've had announced in the last year. The last two have fallen through because of Daniel Levy's negotiating. Now, I have never seen a Swedish tycoon. Johannes Wiklund must own um, Ikea or something. He's looking to invest nearly a billion dollars in new player acquisitions, which we have that available to us. Big money, Johannes Wiklund. Some, yeah, don't get distracted by that. We have a Champions League quarterfinal literally the same day that that news just broke. So focus. Radjovic, Rodriguez, Indrik, Pavlak, Mac McIntosh is ready, dude. We managed to rest everybody up. Everybody's available. George Takichi's cleared for 60 minutes of action, which is awesome. All right, baby, here it is. It's the Champions League at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The quarterfinal between Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur, two of the top three teams in England this season. Tottenham with a 2-0 lead, a stunning result from the Etihad. Hato! Oh! Have everyone on the edge of their seats. Rodriguez. Oh, what a delivery. It's Polly McIntosh. What a save by Petrovic. McIntosh. Oh, it's towards Hato! Jarrell Hato does it again. The defender for the big occasion. Hi, I play FM23 and I can't win any derby. Well, I mean, if you're winning a bunch of other matches, then a part of that's down to luck. But also, you know, maybe the tactic that the team you're playing against in your derby is particularly effective against what you do. Get in! Let's go! But if you have the athleticism and the work rate and, you know, good aggression or just good anticipation or whatever, they're, they're, and obviously you need to set up your press tactically in a way that's going to, oh, what a ball by McIntosh. Are you kidding? Goal! Are you joking with this ball from Polly McIntosh? And it doesn't count. Oh, oh, he's so onside. Oh, that ball was stupid, and it was so well taken and finished. That is ridiculous. Come on, Celtic. I feel comfortable. We're up 4 nothing on aggregate, obviously. We've injured their star wingers in back-to-back -back games, which is hilarious. We play the winner of Celtic Bayern Munich in the uh, semifinal, avoiding catastrophe in the last 20 minutes. That would be a funny penalty. And Celtic is still level 1-1 one, one on aggregate with 20 minutes left in the second leg. So, Celtic. Manchester United is five days away, so we are going to look to... Oh, my goodness, they gave us the pen. Um, who's taking? Javi Guerra, the Spanish international. It's a final nail in Manchester City's coffin. 5-0 Tottenham Hotspur.
I think that the, the trouble being Europa League is more than balanced out by the fact that the season is unbeaten. I think an unbeaten treble is at least, like Bayer Leverkusen, if they complete the unbeaten treble, is at least in the argument for the most impressive season uh, of any European club ever. Fortunately, I don't have to care about that goal that much. That's how you handle a two-leg tie. Did anybody see what happened with Celtic? I mean, it's a great conversation to have. What is the most impressive season of all time? I think Leverkusen... No! Oh! 117th minute for Bayern Munich. Well, it's Bayern Munich in the Champions League semifinal. We'll see what's up. Uh, that sandwiches the Nottingham Forest match. All right. And then we have Bournemouth coming out of it. But right now we have Manchester United, and this is the match that can determine whether this is going to be an aggressive title race or whether we are, whether we are, whether we're good for it, basically. Tomorrow, the other two Champions League semifinalists will be decided. It will likely be Barcelona against Real Madrid, which is obviously a banger. Oh my goodness. The Wonder Kid for the Faroe Islands is actually nasty with it. Boas Vestergaard is actually quite sick with it. At 18 years old, he's got a really nice profile. Boas Vestergaard. Title race heads to the wire. Uh, oh, they have City. Never mind. I thought they had an easier run in. They have us and then City away right after. As their uh, next match six days later. All right. Well, I mean, shoot, if we win this game, we're feeling very, very, very good. Tottenham versus Manchester United. The league title on the line. Ah, what a battle. It's a tough, tough ask for him in that spot. Oh, my goodness, Pavlak. What a play. Karen Tall. No. Oh. Mac. Inacio, it's Polly Mack. Oh, it is gone in! Oh my God, it's gone in the goal. It's Polly Mack. He's made of gold. You're a wizard, Macintosh. Mac, Endrick. It's an astonishing goal from Endrick. And it's 2-0 Tottenham in 27 minutes. They are inevitable. What a goal by Endrick. People worried after last season's bottle that Endrick wasn't going to be able to deliver in the big moments, and he delivers a spectacular goal. He's on. That's a problem. All right, game on. Take me out. The match on a knife's edge. Oh my god, is he off? I think he's off. I think they're calling him offside. I think he, I think he's off. Hold your bottle shouts for a second. I think he's offside. <laughs> Yo. Oh, uh, yep, he's off. That is offside. That is actually offside, not just weirdly offside. The tackle from Jarrell Hato allowed our back line to get into position. Oh my goodness, Mac. Polly McIntosh! Oh, he's unbelievable! Oh, he is unbelievable! Polly McIntosh again! And he's offside, and I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, move it. Move the ball. Move the ball. Good. Oh my goodness, Jarrell Hato dropping a dime to Polly Mac. Oh, that was that was really well set up. 
Pavlok. Oh, he got it out to Polly Mac. Polly Mac. <sighs> yes, Rodriguez. Let's go. Vandevin. Polly Mac. McIntosh just eviscerating people over there. Pavlok. On to Lewis. We're so fluid right now. Rico! Oh, my goodness. Oh, Enrique. Vandevin. Shigichi. Oh, my goodness! What a goal! Surely now, Tottenham Monster have won it! Harvey Guerra! It is a gorgeous finish! And a spectacular delivery by George Shikichi, the leading assist man on this team for that reason. What a goal! It's a masterclass in the Theater of Dreams. Manchester United showed some resolve. They got themselves back in the match, but it's been all Tottenham in this second half, and they've got a goal! It's gone in of Kobe Mainu! They're putting the rubber stamp on this. They're leaving no doubt. There is one team likely to win this match today. And it's unlucky for Kobe Mainu. Manchester United and its title weight, it looks, will continue. Because Tottenham Hotspur will just need to win one of its final four matches to clinch a league title. They have won at Old Trafford. They've done it in style. With one of the goals of the season from Harvey Guerra. And another spectacular effort from Hendrik. Oh, we're doing it. Top of the Premier League by 10 points with four matches left. Dude. Dang it, Sunderland. We can clinch the league title with a win at home against Crystal Palace. We can clinch the league title before we even take the field for the Champions League semifinal. Oh, we could get a record number of points. That'd be nice. Macin McIntosh is on the verge of Tottenham assists record. The existing mark is also 16 set by Giannis Constantelius. One more assist means that Polly McIntosh has the assist record for the season. He has 29 goal contributions this year. What a season from Polly McIntosh. Hopefully it is inevitable. We need one point to win the title. We have four matches to get it. We are at home against Crystal Palace, who is stunningly in seventh place in the league right now. Guerra. Oh, yeah. Lucius. Conda. Giving him the oh, giving him the twirl. Rico Lewis to score the winner from 30 yards out. Oh, dude, if I could, if I could order up one thing, that might be it. Oh my goodness, Rosales. Condo! Oh, he hit the post. Tall is there! Karen Tall! Dude, what is happening? Okay, just let me win the league without kneecapping my entire team. Dear Lord, man. Are you kidding me? It's two first half injuries? Like, what is, what is going on out there, man? I've already used two substitution windows. Festi Abazele. Javi Guerra is more important, though, than Abazele. No offense. <laughs> Festi Abazele is a deep cover option, but Javi Guerra is somebody that is going to be an important, or was going to be an important part of the rest of this season. Rosales. He's got Lewis. Rico Lewis. Nothing we can do with that. Oh, George Takichi. Oh, inside. Oh! It's Kieran Tall again! Never mind. He's offside. Oh my god, why? You were... Just let the ball go in, you idiot. Oop. Oh, give me that. Kieran Tall. Yes. Shigichi. Oh, Shigichi. Cornelio, yes! <laughs> 71 years. 
Tottenham fans have longed to hear it. Kieran Tall, he's got another one. It's 3-0 on Crystal Palace. A brace for Kieran Tall on the final day. After 71 years, Tottenham Hotspur will explode in jubilation, winning England's biggest prize. Tottenham Hotspur are Premier League champions. It's a once in a lifetime memory at Hotspur Stadium. The bottlers will bottle no longer. Tottenham Hotspur all the way to the top of the game. They've done it with three matches to play. They've done it in convincing style. They are the best team in England this season. Finally, the best team in England. We've got another trophy to go get, chat. We've got a Champions League hanging around that I would I would love to get my hands on. Uh, Bellarmino Seca's not back. No! Not Bellarmino! What? Dude, this is the greatest week of my life. But yes, we just won the league for the first time in 71 years. And we just got a tycoon takeover three days later. Boas Vestergaard, the first ever Faroese wonder kid for $6.5 million from Denmark's Randers FC. Signed, sealed, and hopefully delivered. I forgot we had a Champions League match today. I was so distracted by that dude. All right, guys. I, we, I, I'm still on the emotional adrenaline come down from winning the league with Tottenham for the first time in 71 years, but and getting a tycoon takeover because, wow. Uh, but we have to stay focused because this is the Champions League semifinal and we are headed to Bavaria to take on Bayern Munich, who beat Celtic 2-1 to one in the quarterfinal. So either Celtic is really good, or maybe they're down a little bit. I don't know. But our team has been selected. Everybody's happy with the team selection, and we are in a great position to go for a truly spectacular treble. Two-thirds of Tottenham's treble is done. The final piece would be a Champions League. It's the Champions League semifinal. First leg. This is where Tottenham fell last season on a 97th minute penalty to Real Madrid. It was a heartbreaking conclusion. Pavlak! Oh, the German back in his homeland. Quite a few Germans on this Tottenham team. Mark Rodriguez and Dominic Pavlak. The double pivot for Tottenham. Both German. Let's go, Pavlak. Let's go, Pav. Oh, I like the idea. Kieran Tall, Polly McIntosh. It's what he does. It's Kieran Tall. <laughs> Two highlights in the first half. That's what I'm talking about. McIntosh for the ball and door. Love that. Pedri's back for Barca tonight. The man with the sauce. Get that out. Boys just got beat to that one. Where were you supposed to be? Just got beat to that one. Pavlak. Oh, Regevich. Oh, my goodness. An immediate response. It took a deflection, apparently, but I don't care. Yeah, please, Seca, stay fit. Just need to get you a little sharpness so that maybe you can start the next match. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought Shikichi had that. Good work from Rosales. Cleaning that up. That's Oh, should have gotten it back. Should have gotten it back faster. Kazu. Radjevic. What a touch. Oh, but he got it back. Seka. Oh! Oh! Oh, welcome back to the team. Oh, my goodness, Bellarmino Seka. Stop it.
You smell that? It smells like a freaking treble to me, boys. Three one in Bavaria. Multi goal lead coming home. We have put ourselves in a great position here in the Champions League semi final. Real Madrid likely beckoning in the final. We've got Nottingham Forest in the league. We have clinched the league. We clinched it last match. So we will be rotating as much as we can. Bellarmino Seca is officially back to full training after his god tier goal. He agreed to expand the stadium. To a capacity of nearly 71,000 seats, it'll cost 58 million, which that, who cares? <laughs> we have that money all day. All right, team set. It's kind of a weird rotation we had to kick into gear here, but hopefully we can keep the winning vibe going. Bellarmino Sec is only playing the first half, and then we are taking him out, and then hopefully he will be match sharp enough. You know, hopefully he'll be match sharp enough. Away at Nottingham Forest. Let's get it. Oh, let's go. Lucius. And he scores. Right as I'm subbing him out, Bellarmino Seca gives Tottenham the lead. FM's a perfect example of a game that's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be rewarding. It's actually a great way to word it. I really agree with what you just wrote there. It's, it is, it's exactly that, dude. It's supposed to be rewarding. Oh, tall, let's go! We're going for a Tottenham points record in the league now, boys! Shagichi and McIntosh is a real dilemma. I mean, it is, but it's a great problem to have. They're both tremendously talented players. I'm trying to give Shigichi a full 90 minutes so he can actually get match sharp. Oh, just have it. Oh, just have it! Kazu Kanda makes it 3-0. Got a monster deflection on this, but that's okay. It looked like a banger. That's one for the tender profile for Kazu Kanda. He just smacked it as hard as he could. Just a top Ben's deflection there. <laughs> oh, King Kazu, salute you. But yes, George Sakichi for the first time in like multiple months is going to complete a full 90 minutes, which is great news. So happy about that. Uh, is he on? He feels not on. Yeah, that I, I'm not even kidding when I say that is the first time I've ever gotten a tycoon takeover at a club that I've been managing. The one that literally just happened is the first time I've gotten a tycoon takeover. Hilarious that you may not get to enjoy it. Yeah, I know. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know.